My name is Frans Boer and I'm a Marie Curie Research Fellow in the Integrim program. Integrim stands for International Migration and Integration and it is a Europe-funded platform that includes eight different universities in eight countries and I'm based in Portugal uh, at the Institute of Geography and Spatial Planning of the University of Lisbon where I'm also a PhD student. The research project I've been carrying out for the past few years looks at migrant integration from a spatial point of view. A key question that comes up is, what does it mean to say that someone is integrated to urban space? Of course, there are many ways of answering to that question and none of them is definitive. Traditionally, though, researchers have paid attention to migrants' residential location and how it compares to the rest of the city in terms of accessibility, but also in terms of urban resources such as hospitals, schools, and so on. Or else they have uh, focused on the ethnic composition of these migrant neighborhoods. In my PhD, I depart from a somewhat different perspective. Uh, which is that to integrate urban space involves being able to navigate it and being aware of its resources. Using a city is something that we all learn to do and so do migrants when they arrive to a new place. No one expects to use cities like Paris, Los Angeles, Rio de Janeiro or Lisbon in the same way. Each city requires different sets of skills and knowledge such as uh, public transport routes and itineraries, uh, where it's dangerous, where it's safe, um, where to find particular services and things like that. It is often taken for granted that migrants will eventually figure out how to make their ways through a new city. In this project, I'm trying not to take that apprenticeship for granted, but to investigate how migrants learn to use a new city, in this case, the city of Lisbon. In order to do that, I've been working together with migrants of different origins, migratory projects, educational backgrounds, religions, ethnicities. I've carried out in-depth interviews with them, uh, asked them to draw visual representations of the spaces they use in Lisbon. They've also completed time-space journals, which are like diaries where you can write your whereabouts and mobility strategies for a few days. And now I've been carrying out uh, mobile interviews with them. My project is not over yet, but it's clear that looking at migrants' urban know-how brings to light a number of issues such as accessibility, spatial exclusion and discrimination, but grasped through the spatial practices of migrants as city users. Most importantly, perhaps, is that it allows us to see what kinds of urban resources and possibilities are available for migrants to use, and which are not, and how it impacts their experience of the city.